Now, 16-year-old self-taught Johannesburg game developer Brandon Kainak cracks it big time with the App Store, choosing his game Taurus in 137 app stores worldwide. This is the first time that a South African game has achieved such broad coverage globally. Taurus is an action game that masterfully builds upon the player's instinct to connect the dots. The brain behind the app joins us now in studio to share more on his achievement. Brandon, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning, ma'am. I'm glad to be here. Now, Brandon, you're so young, and I just want to get into, you know, what inspired you to get into this innovative field of game developing? So, growing up, I've always just been extremely interested in technology, and I've had a huge love for gaming. And I'd, I literally just decided one day I'm going to make my own game. Um, and so I turned to the internet, and I've self-taught myself, and learned everything I know through free learning resources on the internet, and it's just been my passion. Okay, now how does your game work? So my latest um, release called Taurus mm -hmm. is a very simple 2D arcade game, um, action arcade game. And all the player has to do is connect the dots and go as far as they can. Now you've just said that you're self-taught. Um, but what were some of the challenges actually building the actual game itself or developing the actual game and then getting it into the market? So... I've been developing for just under six years, so it's been a huge learning curve. Um, and I've faced a lot of challenges along the way. And the hardest part about it is just to persevere, persevere and, and keep trying. Um, because often, often you face these challenges in terms of your, you're restricted by your knowledge. Um, and it's a lot of work to develop a game. Like my first game, Blast, was a lot, a lot of work that was in development for just under two years. Now, in terms of the app stores themselves, how exactly do you get your game into the app store? So to publish a game on the app store, mm -hmm. um, on, the, on the Apple app store, um, I develop for iOS. Firstly, you have to be registered as an Apple developer, um, and you need to get a license for that. Does that cost money? It does. Okay. So it, co it costs $100 a year. Okay. Um, but it's definitely a worthwhile investment if you're a serious app developer like myself. Um, and once you register, you can publish as many games as you want. Um, whenever you publish a new game, it has to go through review. And Apple will review your apps and um, check that they are worthy of the App Store. What advice would you give someone who wants to get into the space of developing, whether it's games or programs in general? I think the most important thing is just picking up a passion and and really wanting to succeed because it's a lot of work and it's often very challenging um, and it's very hard to to persevere and keep working at it um, and again the internet is your best friend there's countless learning resources on there on the internet I'm actually glad you said that now finally I think for anyone who'd want to get into the space they'd ask am I gonna make money hmm. let's be honest how much money are you making, if you can even reveal, or, I mean, is it viable? So there's definitely a tons of money in the gaming industry, but that's not my focus at the moment. Um, and you'll see this if you look at my games. They are, both of them are free, firstly. Um, they've got minimal ads, um, so all the ads are optional, um, and minimal in-app purchases. And the, the reason for this is because my main goal at the moment is just to build a name for myself as a developer and to build up this loyal user base of players, um, which I think I've definitely achieved. I think that's a good way to do it anyway, because if you follow your passion, the money will follow you eventually. Yeah, it'll come naturally. Now, just finally, Brandon, what's next for you? Um, this is the second game you've developed. What else are you looking to do within this tech space? So at the moment, I'm focusing on just developing my, my gaming studio, which is called Hardgraph Studios. And just growing that, so I'm focusing on um, developing these, these small games like Taurus um, that are insanely fun and easy to develop. So I mean, Taurus took me just three weeks to develop. Um, and after school, I would like to study computer science at MIT or Stanford. And then, like I said, uh, grow my studio, which I hope to develop into a triple A gaming studio one day. You're only 16 and you already have an impressive resume. <laughs> Congratulations on your achievements, Brandon. And thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for joining us. Thank you.
Taurus is a fun, fast-paced, engaging arcade game that was developed by 16-year-old Brandon Kynock, and it's now available on Apple stores worldwide.